Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic 1942. 1942 is a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up game that was developed by Capcom in 1984. The game is set in the Pacific Theater of World War II. You must pilot your Lockheed P 51 Lightning, dubbed the Super Ace, through an onslaught of Japanese aerial fighters who would stop at nothing to prevent you from reaching Tokyo. I know it sounds a little like propaganda to me, but that's neither here nor there. You have a few options at your disposal, such as power ups, which can grant you quad fire, escort planes, additional rolls of lives a smart bomb, or cease all enemy fire. When things get a little hectic on screen, you can perform an evasive roll up to 3 times per level. The game is made up of 32 stages and it goes from high to low so get comfortable. Every 4 stages represent a different area, closing in on Tokyo with a boss on levels 26, 10, 2, and 1. Fun fact, the Japanese fleet is actually modeled after World War II era Japanese fighter jets. 1942 was one of Capcom's initial breakaway hits. Adding to its longevity is its numerous ports and its addition to classic collection compilations. One thing to note is that the game's designer, Yoshiki Okamoto, later went on to design such games as 1943, The Battle of Midway, Final Fight, and Street Fighter II. I maybe played this game once or twice in the arcade, but I mainly remember the NES port of the game. I remember 1942 as one of those games that nobody has ever beaten. I think some people got pretty far into the game, and if you were one of those people who got halfway through the game, then you were amazing. You were like a video game god. But nobody ever beat the game. Because like all games of this era, it was pretty difficult. It wasn't insanely difficult to turn you off completely from the game, but it wasn't exactly easy either. I think what kept people playing in 1942 is that the boards counted down, so you knew there was an ending, you knew there was some sort of grand finale. It was like a big mystery, you want to see what's on the ending. And this is pre-internet, so it's not like you can look it up or something. So after all these years, here it is. I'm finally going to see what's the grand finale of 1942. So I'm just going to fast forward this a bit. And... That's it. Hope our next game. So it wouldn't make any sense. Anyways, if you're looking for a real world simulation that fully captures the experience of aerial warfare, <laughs> then avoid this title at all costs. If you want to have a little fun, give this game a shot and let me know what you think.